Once I have created my rocket script and added it to my rocket launcher, I'm going to open it in Visual Studio and write the code to make it shoot rockets. So I'm going to go and create some public variables. You have to do that after this first bracket under the public class line. And I'm going to first start with a muzzle variable, so public. I'm going to game object, and I'm going to call it muzzle. Next one, I'm going to do public game object, and I'm going to call it rocket. Then I'm going to create a public integer, or a whole number, and I'm going to call it speed. And my three variables created, I'm going to go into my update state function. And inside there, I'm going to start with an if statement, because I want to only shoot a rocket when I press the space bar. You know, if input dot get key down, and I have to use parentheses because it's a method. I'm going to tell it which key, so key code. Dot, I'm going to use the space bar. So key code dot space. I'm going to go to the very end of that line, hit enter, give myself, myself open and close brackets, hit enter. So my code goes between the open and close. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to instantiate a game object or declare a variable game object and I'm going to call it clone. So game object space clone equals and I'm going to instantiate and if you remember instantiate spawns an object and I'm going to want to spawn the rocket whatever I set as my game object rocket up above and then I have to tell it where I want it to spawn so it's going to be the muzzles transform dot position and then which way it's facing is the muzzle dot transform dot rotation. So now that will instantiate the rocket. But I want the rocket to move forward, so I'm going to say clone dot get component. And I'm going to get the rigid body, so less than greater than sign, so rigid body. And then Get component is a method, so I need my parentheses after it, and then another period, period add force. So I want to add force, and I want to add the force in the forward direction of the transform. So transform dot forward, and then I'm going to multiply that times speed. Very end of my line, with semicolon. I'm going to save my script, go back into Unity. And you'll see that the public variables that I declared will show up in here. So the muzzle is going to be the muzzle game object of the rocket launcher. I can click the little arrow next to rocket launcher, find my muzzle, drag that over to muzzle. The rocket is going to be in the tech ability folder in your project window. Projectiles, the rocket. I'm going to drag the rocket over there. And I'm going to set the speed to, I don't know, try 1000. If I hit play, so now when I hit spacebar, I'm shooting a rocket. <laughs>